guest on my channel today. This is Teresa. She's also a South African YouTuber. I'll link her details down below. Make sure to follow her on social media. She is such a sweetheart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we just met for the first time and it's like we just kind of clicked. I yeah. actually quite like that. Like we're just getting along. So yeah, I'm like really well. like that. Um, so today on our channel, well my channel, well our channel, <laughs> we filmed a video on hers and on mine and for mine, today we're doing the I followed tag. So we chose I love Sarah High, which is Karen, and she did like this gorgeous blue look and we were both like, oh this is so amazing because it will work on both of our skin tones. And this is what it looks like. It is so, so gorgeous. Pretty. Um, so we decided to follow that and yeah if you guys want to see if we aced it or not and how it went and how it went at the beginning we were like no, oh, oh. but stick around and see how it goes let's get started let's get right into the video okay so oh let me know when you're ready yeah I'm ready the palms look so good I need to come from out because they're so thick so, so they need to be clean. Oh my gosh. They need to be clean. <laughs> so, we have the video ready here and we're gonna start watching it. Um, we're gonna put it here. In today's video, I'm using all brand new products, completely brand new stuff that I've never used before. Oh, and it brand new stuff. Like, Not for us. Not for us. So, first thing, Prana Arts. Urban Decay Eden. And she's using like that flat brush. I'm oh, only. She doesn't. She doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't really record like the piece where she called out of her arms. This is like. I usually carve out my brows first before like. Yeah. I mean, this feels weird. It feels really weird. Yeah, my little sister says all the time. Mm -hmm. She says, I'm the type of person whose makeup looks horrible while I'm doing it, but in the end, it's like, okay, we see what you're doing. Yeah! <laughs> that's that's so like, funny, it's that, so true. That's like me all the time. Like, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing, like, half of the time. And at the end, I'm like, okay, maybe. Yeah, this like, worked out? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do the top of the foundation. That was like a peachy shade. Yeah, yeah, this one. Yeah, I'm gonna use this color from Jacqueline Hill palette. I didn't even tell me what I'm using. I'm using the um, Unicorn Source palette from Swiss Beauty, and I'm going in with like a peachy color. Just this color over here. Oops. And I have hooded eyes, so this. I also have hooded eyes. <laughs> you wouldn't even have hooded eyes. You wouldn't even have hooded eyes. Hooded eyes are so difficult. So and people don't understand that. Like, <laughs> you just didn't put any MUA. That looks good. You see those? Good job. <laughs> that looks good. Yeah, we, yeah, we are. I was also like stressed out about it. So I'm going to go in next with the shade Tiger Lily and the T58 brush from Makeup Shop. I'm not just going to go with her top of the crease. I'm going to use like a pencil brush. Oh, that's a nice brush. Sometimes can look black, so I'm just scared. But it's definitely not the same color like hers. Yeah. <laughs> like no. both of ours are so dark. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have Natasha Denona in our country. country. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. And then she like blends it out. See when I like when you blend it, it's almost like it becomes blue. Yeah. And like she takes the blue in, but there's no other color on the inside. Yeah, but mine is just. Hey, yours is coming out really pretty. Yeah, that looks good. We gotta fix it. Okay. Okay, should we see yeah. what she does next? Also, something else that's very important to know is the way I'm holding the brush. I'm holding it more like a pencil rather than from the end. Usually, I feather it out, okay. but for this look, because we really want to have control of where the okay, pencil is. So she's like really tempting it into the crease. Do you like it? Yeah. 
Mm. <laughs> if Sebastian notices that's a good blend, it's a good day. Oh, uh, well, it's not a good day, day for us. The house is so many brushes, like so dark. Like that's such a nice blue. Okay, we're not done with this color. But yeah. like, it's just like yeah. <laughs> Should we move on? Yeah. Yeah, she's like, I just think if this is any other kind of shade, I'm going to go pretty far in with the color. And then yeah, we get that. Yeah. And get into the lid space just because once we do cut this, I still want that color just to show up. Now, going in with this real technique, super 305 brushes, it's like they're really cute, limited edition glittery brushes. And I'm just going to pull my eye a little bit and just kind of dust it. I'm going to create like a little bit more of a green shade. It's just going to. How could she say? You know? I don't know why she's doing something. So right? I just do this. So I think what she's saying is that she mixed it with a peachy shade. And that made it look green. Yeah, maybe. I can actually see like it does look green. Does look green. I don't know. Okay, okay. let's take that peachy shade then. <laughs> Let's go back in with like my Key Louise eyeshadow base and cut my face. This is like the most important step to me um, because okay. it's truly really going to make these step. next few shades really pop, really stand out, give it that definition as well. Okay. okay. This right here. We can do this. We can do this. We cut green greens. Cut green greens. <laughs> cut green greens. <laughs> <Cut green. laughs> So now that we've cut the crates, I'm going to go back in with the shade Tiger Lily and that same brush again. Why do you admit I'm saying my brushes now? I know I have a really bad shade. Yeah, we really love it. Also we love it because we have them here. Huh? So I'm picking up that shade. So it's the same dark one. I'm going to put the eye first. And this is takes away. Because I'm not blending with. Okay. Yeah. I'm now going to take in the shade Laguna, which is a oh, matte shade. Mm -hmm. Kind of reminds matte me shade. a little bit of the Electric Eel from yeah. that. It's just, it's not as dark. It's a little lighter, but very yeah. similar tone. Yeah. And I'm going to go in with a good 256 brush. And it's going to go in. But this is too much lighter. Yeah. Okay, so she's putting that, but not all the way in. I'm so scared to make this color. Okay, I'm actually. Let's Maybe she doesn't know what she's doing. Yeah, Maybe she does know. Oh my gosh, why is he so electric? I don't know. It's, it's the, the, the primer. It's, oh, yeah. it's the primer. And you know how creative you must be to just like come up with a look? Like most of the looks I do, sometimes I feel inspired and just do yeah. something randomly. Yeah. But most of the times I see a look and then I feed off that. I always feed off other people's looks. Always. You see, it's like it's so and it's just, strange. You just add off, like you just add your own touch to it. Yeah, I need to like just create my own looks. That's difficult. It's so difficult. It's <laughs> really difficult. I need mean, to. <laughs> So I'm now going to go in with the shade Exotic, which oh, is she this one. Yeah. Oh, and then she's taking a green. Yeah, that's one. Should we use this one? Yeah. Let's use that one. I pop the shade over the oh. one. So it is like and again, now back with the one and have it again. You really just kind of want to go back and forth. I mean, you don't have to, but I might use this green shade. Oh no, it's actually pretty. I don't know, but it like... <laughs> like it, she knows what she's doing. I'll never doubt you ever again. 
Okay, I'm feeling excited. Like, I'm this look is going gorgeous. somewhere. <laughs> Coming to clean up, I'm gonna go in with the shade Minty Frost. I'm gonna be adding that to oh. the inner corner of my eye. So because I really want this eyeshadow to pop, I'm gonna go ahead and add Urban Decay's Heavy Metal. I got that, see. I got it. I knew you would. I, I got really it. knew you would. Like, Urban Decay, <laughs> Heavy Metal Distortion. Okay, you can use that. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to this area first and then pop that color on top. So I'm going to use a that shade in the cross and then just kind of pack it on top. This uh, I'm feeling so, so excited pretty. that I have what she has. I'm scared and excited. So, she can <gasps> That is so pretty. But the glitter is still coming through. I think it's How did she do that? That's so amazing. That is nice. You can do it. This is a little skill. I, I feel like it's a good look with Chorots, eh? Yeah. Oh! I feel so amazing! I'm so excited! I'll say hi! Oh. Karen, she knows what she's doing. Karen, girl, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. We would like to think that we know what we're doing. <laughs> But in real life, we actually don't. We actually don't. <laughs> so I just got on the mail, and this is from Essence. This is <laughs> okay. I forgot I had to do this. Thing. Actually, I've been hearing a lot about this brand, but have not. I really love it. Yeah, we do. We, yeah, yeah, we love it. Yeah, she does kind of dramatic. Yeah. This is so like. This is Chris. very easy to apply. Such a good color payoff, and I love that I can go over it a few times. I'm gonna take a white, just clean up. Um, All right, moving on to lashes and mascara. I am gonna. Honey, yes. Go through, honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm use my Miami lashes today. So for mascara, we're going to be using another Essence product, and this is their Instant Volume Boost Mascara. Yeah, you put it on and intense black. Ready okay. and intense. <laughs> Ready in 10 seconds. Let's go ahead and use this baby. Okay. And let's just this one. And I'm now going to go in with the L'Oreal. This is a brand new product. This is the Invaluable Glow Lock Illuminating Primer. So this is going to give you a glow finish. It helps the skin and it smooths, hydrates, and blurs, which is what I like. Okay, I'm using Smashbox Radiance Primer. I'm using Invaluable Mattifying Base. <laughs> Good. Oh, she's just she's like popping it finger. on. Pop it on. This is like a little bit dark. So when I put this on my hand yesterday, it definitely went on very, very matte, which I'm a little afraid because I am on the garage side, so I get scared of things being too matte. But we shall see how this looks on the skin. It's been doing and she's using my coverage wise, I believe it's a medium to full. It looked very full yesterday, um, but I feel like if it's medium, it's definitely going to be like a buildable foundation. Why is she using a brush then? Is she using a brush? It's definitely the consistency that I like. I do like Number 14, which is also part of the KKW Beauty Concealer. This. I'm going to use Edigo. And now for the Kikin's Smashbox Blurry Foundation Brush. Hold up, girlfriend. Oh, so I should be I do with my other concealers and lightly just tap the product into my skin. Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna press it into the lid and I'm just gonna go ahead and bake the exact same thing I do. So while we're baking, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my underwrites. Guys, I'm gonna go in with the shade Laguna, which is the red one. And then I'm gonna use this like the all over shade underneath. Okay, all over shade underneath. I'm just gonna dust this one. Yeah. 
for blush, I'm gonna be using this Sueva Color Spectrum Blush Book. So there are four shades in here, two being pink, two being more on the coral side. I'm gonna go with the coral side today. How much? This is so much better with your high tan. Made in Paradise Morphe X Bretman Rock Collection. I figured this kind of goes with the eye makeup look, and this is like one of the newer highlighting palettes that I have. I'm gonna use so Ofra Days Donut to get from made, to and then I Smith 112. No way! <laughs> Okay, I'm using the wet set from Kylie Cosmetics. Oh my gosh! Look what I did! Oh! oh. Dolly. I thought this was. It's so fun. I'm just like. I just no, like, you really look gorgeous. I look like a girl. In the shade, Tender Heart. I can't tell you guys what I'm using. No name. <laughs> yeah, for now. <laughs> wow. Wow, look at us. You look so pretty. You look and then one more set. Alyssa, I said yeah. one more time. And the last but not least, I'm just going to put some oil onto my skin. This is my. I think that's it. I put it again. Alright, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Yay! This look like I would go to church with this makeup. Um, yeah, <laughs> my church would probably be like, um, but like, yeah, we'll that's go to church church church. Learning. <laughs> cool. learning for Jesus, okay? That's all we're doing here. Want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for following um, this tutorial with us. Please let us know in the comment section down below if we did well. I mean, we think we did well, but let us know if you guys think so. And also remember to hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button, show us some love. And make sure to check out Teresa's video on her channel. I'll link it down below so you guys can check it out. We did a left hand challenge in 10 minutes. Which was <laughs> definitely like the opposite of this makeup. Yeah, that was definitely. <laughs> But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, you must stay sweet. I'll talk to you soon.